What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we're back with something a little bit different today. I have been bombarded with requests for player pack reviews and going through the different packs, the premium packs, and which do I recommend? Why do I recommend certain players or certain packs over others? Um, and look, I mean, this is mostly coming and requested by newcomers that are coming over to the series for the first time. And they don't understand, or maybe you guys listening, some of you guys listening that are new to eFootball 2022, you know, you're not as well versed in the playstyle proficiency, um, in training players up, in like the key individual stats that you guys should be looking for. And then obviously there'll be some guys listening to this video that will know more than me, that are veterans of the series and that will know the ins and the outs of Dream Team. So what I want to do in this video is because it's been requested so much is I'm going to do kind of like walk through breakdown kind of reviews of the packs the premium packs starting with the Messi and the Neymar ambassador packs that we're going to be comparing them seeing if they're actually worth it and look I'm not going to tell you guys if they're worth it or not I mean if you're happy to go out and spend your own money on your own Pez experience or your own eFootball experience you do what you want you know what I mean I've done what I want in it uh some of the stuff I obviously some of the packs I've bought on the on the Dream Team Chronicle series has been for content and some of the packs is because I wanted to actually pump in my own money and buy them so I mean you do what you guys want obviously some people will want to play a free uh Dream Team experience or have a free 100% free Dream Team experience buy no coins there is going to be a bit in this video for that as well so we're going to be going through alternate players or alternative players that you can buy for 100% free on the GP market and that especially will be important for newcomers as well if you are new to the series there is a like a GP marketplace there that they've brought into Dream Team this year that is just brilliant you know what I mean you can buy certain players for dirt cheap and you can train them up and max them out to be absolute beasts in the game that will stand side by side with these legends obviously there is some incredible legends in the game that will you know be game changers such as Neymar and Messi and you know a couple of the other guys that you can train up but for all intents and purposes like you can have a really 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 solid starting 11 plus a bench for very cheap gp if you're willing to put in the time and train them up equally if you are a newcomer and you're coming across and you're thinking to yourself listen i want to learn the i want to learn the mechanics i want to learn the game i also don't want to be going on getting you know absolutely smashed online with my 60 rated squad i'm going to buy a pack and you haven't decided that you are going to buy a pack uh, this video will hopefully give you a couple of like pros and cons per each pack so that you guys can make a more informed decision and uh, yeah so we're going to start with Messi and Neymar let's get right into it and as I said lads you know you can play eFootball however you wish to to play it it's completely up to you it's it's your own uh, game it's your own experience it's your own money you can do what you guys want I'm not going to recommend either or I'm just going to give you um give you kind of like suggestions and stuff like that and as i said this has been requested from a lot of people especially newcomers coming across that are wondering what the hype is or what the lack of hype is about the packs and why they should or shouldn't buy them i'm not going to tell you guys whether you should or shouldn't buy them i'm just going to give you the information and then give you a couple of alternative uh, choices as well and have a, just a bit of a chat about it because you definitely can have that free experience if you are prepared to grind and train and put your own stamp on the team but you can also just buy a squad and just in you know inherit that squad from from 2000 coins or whatever you want to put in so let's get right into it lads that is the introduction let's get right into it with Messi. So starting us off, right, lads, we have Messi for 2,000 coins. Now, this is probably, Messi and Neymar are probably the two highest requested players. Um, our packs that people have been asking me which they should buy. There's a couple of key differences between the two packs, right? So the first one is Messi, right? We're going to go through this with Messi. Um, where we see here, we're going to get Lionel Messi, Suarez, Martinez, Sergio Ramos, De Maria, De Paul, Romero, Martinez, Paredes, Sergio Roberto, Roberto, Lanzini and then obviously we get our 60,000 trainer points as well now before we go into the squad and the actual players we're going to go over to eFootball DB and have a look in a sec we look here and the big difference between Messi which is playing with a possession game if you read the objective details it includes Messi 10 other players with a possession game play, play style proficiency of 80 so 80 overall so you're going to want a possession based manager with this now if you don't know um about the team play style proficiencies and stuff like that have a look in the link in the description below i do have that linked to a video i did on the play style to get that maxed maxed out that you 
can link up with your manager the best. Um, and there'll be a lot of information in there, especially for newcomer, newcomers, if you guys are wondering uh, how it all works and the ins and outs of the mechanics of it. So basically it's team spirit from, from the old PES games. It's kind of like getting your team uh, as high team spirit as possible. It's just now called playstyle proficiency, how well they play within that system, with that manager, within that playstyle. So if you look there at Messi and then you look at Neymar's, Messi's is possession, Neymar's is out wide. So I would say to you guys, right, it's very hard to, to, to know what formation um, to play. And there is obviously a couple of like overpowered ones and meta ones that will always work well. Um, you're always going to lose games, you're always going to win games. That's just the way of online gaming. But I would say that it's very hard to understand and to kind of analyze what... Um, or detect what formation suits you best. It's just from trial and error, and it's just from the type of player that you are. So I would reckon starting off with one of these out wide or possession based gameplay styles is probably your best bet. Out wide, you will be, you know, mixing it up a lot. You'll be crossing the ball, you'll be overlapping with your fullbacks, um, you'll be hugging the touch lines when you're attacking, you'll be taking players on 1v1 dribbling, you'll be bursting past players with speed. You can also mix it up with short, intricate passes and triangles in the middle of the box with your attacking midfielder, but mostly it's going to be wing play, especially when you're defending and you're going to tuck in compact. If you are playing uh, centrally, if you're more of a central player, I think possession gameplay style or quick counter are probably the way to go uh, because it means that your attacks are building from the middle through the middle, and that's the way it's going to be. Now, this formation, possession game based uh, play style proficiency, this is one I think is kind of the most newcomer friendly. I won't say noob friendly. I will say for newcomers, it's nice to be able to get on the ball and have a lot of options. Sometimes the AI can be a bit wonky with the possession based gameplay style, I think. But when it does work, it is very kind of nice if you are coming up against the guy, say 4-3-3 is the most common formation you'll come up against. So if you've got a possession game uh, play style, it's going to be nice that you're able to, every time you have the ball, you're going to be, you know, getting options on it. So as I said, check out my other video. I've gone into that in about 10 minute detail of the different play styles and stuff. Um, and we might do another video to update that as well, because a lot, a lot of people are asking me, um, you know, the difference in how to pick a game play, uh, play style and stuff like that. But anyway, going through the players, right? As I said there a minute ago, we've gone through all the players. We're going to go over to eFootball DB and take a look at the players. Now, this is what I was talking about at the start of the video lads in saying that sometimes the legends and the players that you get in these packs can look a little bit better than they actually are now obviously with Messi right Messi I think the biggest thing with Messi is obviously that he's a legend card so he's going to be B form all the time that's number one but if we go over here and we just take a look at his base core stats right once we have kind of looked at him his dribbling is like insane his finishing is insane his balance is amazing his speed is probably the only thing that's lacking. It's 74. Now, he doesn't really need that speed because Messi is still fast enough in game. Plus, he's got 85 acceleration. But if you are playing in the possession game based play style here, when we do start to train up Messi, you're going to want to give two into that to bring it up to 99 or at least to give it to 90, depending on your uh, rest of your players or whatever. I would probably leave it at 99, to be honest with you, um, unless you wanted to give one to like quick counter if you wanted to change formation, because once you put the points in in the game, you can't do it. That's why it's nice to kind of simulate it here over on eFootballDB.com, you know, which is 100% accurate with the game that you can just kind of simulate it without actually having to take the plunge on your player in game. Now, if we go over here and we just decide to pump up him to maybe an 80 speed there, um, we still have two left over that we don't really need to touch the rest of his stats. So we're going to pump that in. His speed is going to be 80. His acceleration is going to be 87. His possession game is maxed out and he's a 97 overall, right? So being a 97 overall like is one thing but like if you go in and you decide that you want to have a bit more uh freedom with designing a messy or creating your own messy and putting your own stamp in it like if we go over and we look at his actual base card here right you'll notice that he's got 21 levels so this messy here is seven levels which is a bit restrictive and i think that they've balanced that in a nice way this year because of that like that you can't exactly have like you know, like 40 levels on a player and bring him up to 101 overall or something like that. So with Messi here, he's got 40 prog progression points compared to 12 on his legend card, right? So we're going to have to close the gap to get to that 97. We're not going to get to 97 overall, 
But if we do decide to kind of like build him up kind of in a similar way that we have built up our uh, our legend edition of Messi. So we put him at 87. We can't get to 80 there unless we want to spend all our points. Obviously, we're going to have to put possession game up to 99 as well to keep it fair. And then we're probably going to put it into dribbling. So we're going to get his dribbling up to, into the 90s, um, which is, again, similar to what he has. We don't really need the finishing to be as good as um, as it is in his other card. Like, we could if we wanted to, but we don't really need to. Um, but we can actually get him up to a 96 overall there. And if we take that off, we can get him up near enough um obviously we're going to keep the possession game but we can we can get him up pretty high there like we can get him up pretty high um obviously we'll need to keep that as well but um like 96 overall compared to 97 overall apart from his speed like his speed here is 76 compared to an 87 acceleration on his main card on his normal card it's 80 and 87 there his offensive awareness is even better on his discard his finishing isn't as good but his um his ball control and all that is pretty much identical. Dribbling is a little bit better on that card. His balance is obviously better on this card. So like for 1 million GP, which is a lot of GP, you could get away with actually getting this version of Messi. Um, and, you know, you definitely won't go wrong. It'll be a very, very similar experience, right? Similar to uh, Sergio R R uh, Ramos, right? So Sergio Ramos is one of the better players on this card. But when we do start to actually scratch away at the surface and look at his stats, right, we max him out. He only goes to five levels, right? So I think the biggest problem with all these cards at the moment is by design, they only have five levels, which means that for Ramos, he's only going to got eight progression points, right? So it's not even worth really training him up, in my opinion, because once you've given him his max out in his uh, play style, which is 99, or you even go to 90, you've only got six or seven points to pump in to his actual stats, right? So for this guy here, for his acceleration, we're going to pump that up to 70. And then where are we going to go with it? Like, you know, it's it's like a stat here, a stat there. It's not going to change the dial too much. Yeah, he is 91 overall. But look at the difference here, right? Compared to Sergio Ramos, right? So we've got Kempembe, okay? Now, Kempembe is the type of player that has, again, He's got 25 levels, which means that he can go all the way up to 48 points. If we're going to put him with possession game, and we're going to give him three in that to bring him up to 93, similar to what Ramos was with level 90 for his possession stat, then we can decide where we're going to put the rest of it. So we can put five, six in here. We can put six in here. We can put six in here. We can put six in here. And then we're obviously going to have like a really beastly uh, center back that is going to be pretty much identical uh, to Ramos, you know what I mean, in terms of everything everything that you could possibly want um, from a centre-back, right? If you were looking for a fast, pacey centre-back, that, that is kind of where you would want to go with it. So even from here, when you're talking about it, Kempembe is 76,000 GP, lads. Literally, you can afford that after like one event, like if you play the event maybe so once. next up, we have got Neymar, right? So we're going to go back here and we're going to have a look at Neymar squad which is here, and that is going to be Neymar, Alisson, Casemiro, Marquinhos, Verratti, Richarlison, Cavani, Kempembe, Lucas Moura, Coutinho, Marcelo, and you've got your 15, 4,000 training program points as well. So obviously the pick of the bunch is going, is going to be um, Neymar. So when we go back here, this is Neymar maxed out. So he's got his seven levels and we've been maxed out for pace and we've got him maxed out to play out wide. So that's kind of Neymar there when you're looking at it. Um, that's as good as he can get, really, 96 overall. But if we actually come to his base card, right, this is Neymar maxed out at his base card. He's 94 overall. He's only 490,000 GP. Again, very affordable if you wanted to grind that. And I think that, the, the, I think that this Neymar card is actually... I think the gap between his, this plain Neymar card, the standard Neymar card, and this one is even less than the, the messy ones, to be honest with you. You know, I think Neymar's original standard card is probably, I think he's top three in the game, definitely, his standard card. So he's an absolute beast. He is insane in the game. Um, but again, it depends on how you want to train him up. Like we've boosted up his lower body strength there a good bit to bring up his speed. But if we take away a couple of the points here, you know, we can kind of train him up to be a different type of player. Obviously, he's still going to be 94 overall, but we could train him up to be more of a like a kind of a finisher and attack a midfielder, you know, with his passing and his dribbling and his shooting and stuff like that and not have him so much as a speedster. Um, but I genuinely think that that's probably his best position is on the left wing just to be able to rip people with 
skills, but you have to be able to play out wide. You know, that's the big thing. So next up, we are taking a look at Allison, right? So Allison, again, he's kind of a little bit restricted with his lack of progression points because obviously once you have given it into out wide, which will just give him one there, the rest of the points are going to be going into reflexes. That's the most important stat for that. So if we put this into reflexes here and get him up to 90 um, and then put the rest in just here, like we are going to have a 94 rated goalkeeper and he's got insane stats, 90 reflexes, 87 catching and awareness, 82 clearing and reach, 90 out wide, and his kicking power, his jump, his contact, everything is pretty decent there. But if we go over here to Donnarumma for 390,000, and we train Donnarumma up, which is one of the best keepers in the game, we give him out wide three, which brings him up to 98. And then obviously we're just going to pump in the rest of his stats equally into, um, which he has a lot of points that he can pump in. We're going to pump his stats equally into this where we can literally just pump him up and make him as best the best keeper that he possibly can go right so if we do that he goes to a 94 overall as well and look at his stats compared to allison's so allison is 87 87 82 90 and 82 this guy donnarumma is 80 85 86 92 and 88 so yeah there is a bit of a discrepancy there obviously in the goalkeeper awareness and stuff but for the main stat for goalkeeper is reflexes that is the one that is actually uh, Donnarumma beats Allison on. So that's something to keep mind and keep um, an eye out for as well. Um, so again, there's lots of different options that you guys can take with the GP. As I said, 390,000 GP there. It is quite a lot of money. But if you check out some of my other videos where I have squad builders done or the best uh, players for all budget series, you will see that there's players there for 40,000 that you could train up to like a 91 overall as a goalkeeper or something like that. Last but not least, then we have got Marquinhos. Marquinhos is a really, really good player, obviously, in the game. He's, uh, he's one of the better players. Again, we give him out wide too to bring him up to 99 overall. And then we're just going to boost up his stats here equally across the board. Um, just to make him a little bit quicker, he's obviously got insane stats just off the board. He's going to be 92 overall. But again, we go into his regular card here, lads, and we talk about his regular card, right? His training, and we max him out. He's going to have 34 levels, which we max out his, his out wide. And then we're going to be just boosting these up equally across the board. Again, going to be seeing how much, you know, we can get him up um, because he does turn into a bit of a beast of a player in fairness. Um, where with his defending and stuff he goes to a 92 overall so again lads look it is completely up to you guys you can get the players very 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 similar to what the cards are but it does take a bit of grinding it does take a bit of training you know if you want my advice i definitely think you should um you know you should grind out but if you have your heart set on a on a on a pack you can't go wrong with messi or neymar if you are buying them we will take a look in the next episode about barcelona Bayern, and manchester united we'll cover those three and then the rest and the rest but i think that messi and neymar especially the fact that you um you know, Messi and Neymar, in my opinion, are specialist players. You know, they're not a DMF, they're not a CB. Um, you know, they're not they're not a striker. They're not your main. They shouldn't be your main striker. I think Neymar. I would probably give Neymar a little bit more of a thumbs up than Messi, simply because I think Neymar is probably top three players in the game. His standard card and this card is slightly better, even though it's slightly. But genuinely, lads, you could buy the players for GP, train them up with all the trainers that you've probably already going to unlock or will or have unlocked, and you will have an absolute beast of a player and you'll have a beast of a winger that will be there till the end game. So yeah, it's up to you guys. Obviously, you don't need to, you can still just buy them with GP and train them up. But if you are looking, I would definitely say that Neymar is probably the better of the pick, especially if you like to play out wide and like to play one-on-one -on -one crosses and fast play on the wings with a bit of skills thrown in for good measure as well so lads that is it for the first episode in this i'll be back let me know if you enjoyed this obviously it is a video mostly for newcomers i've been getting a lot of requests for it so yeah hope you guys enjoy it i'll be back soon peace